Today I'm going to show you the Hyperkin Superboy, but uh, this is for power users. So if you're an American user watching this, you're in a much better position. Almost all of your games are going to work, um, except for a few. Um, I'm showing what it will work for power users. I've had this imported from the US because they're not making it for Australia. They've been absolute dicks about it, but um, I got it shipped over and it pretty much costs more to get the damn postage from the actual console. Now, um, obviously I'll be using power games, but if you're American, bear in mind it's even more likely yours will work. Now, a lot of the games don't work um, what are PAL, but um, Super Mario All-Stars is sadly one of them. I know blowing doesn't actually help long term, but I just it's just a habit I've become accustomed to since I got it when I was free, my Super Nintendo. So you just chuck it in. Um, one of the cool features is this little lock at the back. Um, you can push it and it will lock it in, meaning if you're jumping at the same time as Mario, it will not trip out the game. So I'll just turn it on here. And, uh, sorry, for some reason my camera is deciding it wants to save everything in reverse. But for those who can't read backwards, it says this game pack is not designed for your Super Famicom or Super NES. So it basically detects it as either a game from another region or uh, as a piracy device to um, back up games. But, um, so that's disappointing because that's one of the games I really wanted to use. Fortunately, Super Mario Kart, I'm pretty sure if I remember it right, does work. I've just got this in the postage, so I've had a proper chance to actually go through, see which games do work. Super Mario Kart, if I plug it in, much to my relief, it booted. I, I, I would have been pretty upset, depressed if it didn't. So, as you can see, it works. Like, obviously, everyone goes Yoshi if you um, were a cool kid. And, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I was really scared when I first got this because I didn't know how to take the game out. It just turns out you have to rip the living shit out of it until it finally pops out. But when I first got it, it was very really, really cool. Now, one of the most incredible features is yes, you can use the Super Game Boy. So, um, yeah, it's fantastic because what it means is. For the first time ever, you can now take your Game Boy games on the go. And, um, yeah, that was sarcasm. Um, it's just not booted up first shot, so I'll give it one more. Oh, what the hell? <sighs> what I'm hanging out for is the day they make um, a Nintendo 64 version of one of these. And it has literally worked every time I've tried to make this thing work, except for the one time I'm actually filming it. Story of my life. Alright, better boot this time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What have I done to it? Alright, I'll come back to that one. So... Um, one game which does work is called Super Chainers Pond. Most of you probably haven't heard of it. It is probably the most underrated game of all time. It is so awesome. And, um, this game is badass. If you're an uh, emulator user on PC and just want a game to muck around with, I can't recommend enough you use this game. It's badass. So yeah, that one works, much to my relief. Um, it seems if it's going to have trouble with games, it's ones what use battery backup stuff. So another example is Donkey Kong Country 2. This is probably my favourite game on Super Nintendo. Um, so I was really pissed off to see this game didn't work. Yeah, it, it comes up with a nice little picture of them locked up in a cage and says, well basically the same message. It won't work on the super, this Super Nintendo. So I was pretty cut by that. I wanted this game to work. It would have been nothing cooler than playing this on my train. But no. Um, it didn't work. So that's gay. I'm giving this one last shot just to show it works. And uh, if it doesn't, I'll give up on that. Okay. It was working 20 minutes ago, go figure. It did work, um, but it's not at the moment. So that's basically an idea 
or what it looks like. It's um did work in Australia for putting on it on your TV. As you know, you've got the two remote ports here, so you can plug up multiplayer controllers and play it on your TV. Only issue is it was in black and white on my TV, so if you're a PAL user, you may have the same problem, and that was a bit annoying. But, you know, I'm hoping there will be a way like to update the firmware of these or something. I'm not too hopeful, but you never know. But knowing my luck, within like a month of me buying this, I'll release an Australian version, so that would be awesome but annoying at the same time for me because I paid quite a bit of money for it and that's basically it guys it um battery life is advertised at two and a half hours but that's probably just covering their ass you can probably squeeze three hours of it out of it when you first get it so I haven't actually gone from start to finish on it yet I've only just played it in bits and recharged it in between but um yeah it's, it's pretty good I just use an adapter to step it down so if you're an Australian user and want to get it, you've got two choices. You buy it now, like I did, I couldn't wait any longer. Um, and I understand that your Donkey Kong games won't work. But you get it now. And you're like the one of the only people in Australia to have it. And trust me, I took this on the train and I was suddenly the most popular guy on the train if I wanted a piece of Super Nintendo action. But um, a way you can wait and hope Hyperkin release an update for Australia. But that could be a year away and it will probably be quite more expensive than the American version. So it's up to you. Do you want to wait it out? Do you want to get it now? It is good, but it was disappointing in some areas. It does as it's advertised, but it was let, a letdown in other areas. But it's up to you guys. I think it was a good investment overall, but whether you want to bite the bullet now and get it, it's up to you. If you're an American user, then it's a fantastic, fantastic idea for you to go grab one because it will play your Donkey Kong games. So what more can you ask for? So yeah, have fun guys. Um, any questions about it, just um, send me a message or comment. And I do read every comment, even most retarded ones. I do read them, but I won't answer them properly. So yeah, have fun guys.